On July 1st, 1978, the Container Store opened its doors in a small retail space in Dallas. Filled with products like colorful milk crates and straw baskets, it was devoted solely to storage and organization products. Since then, the Container Store has opened locations from coast to coast, and it is consistently featured on Fortune Magazine's list of best 100 companies to work for. We sat down with CEO and co-founder Kip Tyndall to talk about minding your wake and getting the customer dance in in this learning from the pros. Well, you know, a boat's wake as you're moving along the water, and back of the boat is this kind of triangular uh, 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 wave. You know, they call it a wake, and the faster you go, the bigger it becomes. Everything you do and everything you don't do impacts your business and the people around you. We teach that to our, our, our people. And when you get 6,000 people all mindful of their wakes and understanding that, isn't it nice that we do actually make a difference? The average retailer only invests eight hours of formal training in each first year employee. Eight hours, I mean, it's uh, shameful really because there's nothing worse than being on the sales floor talking to a customer about a product that you don't know any more about than they do. The containers, we do 262 hours or 263 hours I think it is of, of formal training for each first year employee and that's just the beginning. <laughs> really and truly put the employee first. I mean, really and truly, they, they really will take better care of the customer than anybody else. The better you take care of your people, the better they'll take care of the customer. And, you know, a customer that's ridiculously well taken care of and loves your store is going to make sure that the economics of that works, works well. I always have my... Uh, briefcase with me. It's with me when I go fishing. It's, uh, it's with me all the time. The real artist of life blurs the distinction between work and play. You know, we're always playing and we're always working. And when, when Claude Monet was painting the water lilies, was he working or playing? He was doing what he wanted to be doing. There's no reason for the container store to exist if we sell the same products that everybody else does. So we have to come up with these wonderful, innovative products that people get emotional about, you know. We want to delight and thrill you with it so much that for at least the first few weeks when you go into your closet in the morning, you do a little dance, you're so excited, you love it. And then if you feel that way, you're going to show it to your sister-in-law and your next-door neighbor, and they're going to want to feel that way. We call that getting the customer dance. The real test is can you make somebody do the customer dance about something as pedestrian as a trash can? And so we carry the world's most glorious trash cans. We devote our lives to making sure they're the most stunning, wonderful, perfect thing that fits in that corner just right. And so we like to say even a trash can can make you smile if it's exactly the one you want.